<laughs> Look at this. The great man. How How's are you, going? Ricky? Hi. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Jane. How you doing? Where, where you come in? Or just here? I'm just sort of. Oh, is that, where do you want yeah, me? yeah, just there, sir. How are you, mate? Okay. Look at this. Is like this is like serious. Lovely. <laughs> like, yeah. like a space age yeah. cafe. Yeah. Look yeah. At <laughs> Ricky, how are you, mate? Good, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pumped. I had a wonderful weekend watching Afterlife. I binged you. I know. People have been... People watched it like the first three hours. It was up and around the world. It was mad. Some people are watching it twice already. Um, well, I suppose it's you know it's only two and a half hours, isn't it? So right. it's like watching a movie twice. You know? um, but I've been blown away. I've, I'm in shock. I've never had a reaction like it. And I know Twitter wasn't around, you know... 15 years ago so I can't really compare it but it's it's been crazy it has been crazy insane yeah give, give us the pitch that people haven't seen it yet you know um, like because right. it's an interesting thing because people that have followed your whole career they've, you've pulled them into this and it's a different it's an evolution yeah. of you right I think that but people who haven't seen it assume um, it's me being me from my stand up just going around insulting people uh, gratuitously and it, that's not it it's 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 deeper than that because uh, it start it hits the ground running you see a, uh, a, a me watching a home video um of my my deceased wife you see as she's going through chemotherapy funny stuff yeah. already right <laughs> that's what I'm like, like I'm, um, I'm trying to like <laughs> no it's 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 what I think I've got a pitch um because you know uh, you know I enjoy you you're a top guy and I'm pitching it no, to it's people a it's a shocking yeah. opening one minute um and she says um uh, if you're watching this I'm not around anymore you know so she you know she knows she was dying then and you know I'm watching it and I'm and uh she says um uh uh, you're lovely but you're absolutely fucking useless so she's left him a guide to life and it's sort of really mundane like when to put the bins out and when to you know change the soul in the but then it obviously that that develops and so you know what's happened to me and um i'm suicidal i nearly kill myself but the dog's hungry um and that gives me long enough to think okay i'm going to do this for a while um but i'm going to do it on my terms i'm going to punish the world and I'm going to say and do exactly what the fuck I want yeah. from now on. And then the comedy, the, these comedic and moments. It's and that's where the comedy comes from. Yeah. Two places, really. We live vicariously through him talking to arseholes yeah. like that. He's trying to make himself a psychopath so he doesn't feel anymore. Yeah. And that's the second bit we're laughing at. Because comedy is really um, an ordinary guy trying to do something he's not equipped to do. Yeah. And he's trying to be a badass, but he's not quite. Right. So yeah. it doesn't make him feel better. That's right. And he has to... You know, everyone, his mates and his, his work colleagues and his, you know, they're trying to save his life, really. It's like a ticking clock. But he treats it like a superpower. He thinks, I'm going to do, an, I'm going to have one last adventure and uh, and then I'm going to kill myself. So I don't care about anything. So he treats it like he's invincible, but it doesn't work out like that. Yeah, his abuse to people is just brilliant. I mean, that's where some of the laughs I got from it. Yeah, I'm laughing. Well, yeah. Straight away, he walks past a school and he waves to his nephew and then a, a, a kid goes pedo and he goes what he goes pedo he goes i'm not a pedo and if i was you'd be safe you tubby little ginger cunt so in the first one minute you know his wife's died and he's called a 10 year old kid a tubby little ginger cunt yes. so <laughs> that sets the tone yeah, for it but it. but it shifts yeah. it shifts when he confronts people and he, he he goes into the sort of underbelly of society people he wouldn't have hung around with when he had the perfect life and he had the perfect life and the perfect relationship when you see that through watching home videos he's and it's a real relationship it's not a coffee advert yeah. they're mates and he's mucking around they're getting drunk together and they love each other properly so you, you see what he's lost and he used to be fun um but then he, he you know he meets uh, you know, a drug addict and, and, a, and a sex worker, and you know, so it, don't call her a hooker or a prostitute. Exactly, and she keeps correcting him, <laughs> sex worker. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, and so uh, it's it's an adventure, and it's um it's I suppose it's watching. Uh, it asks the question: When you lose everything, is life still worth living? Right. And I think I answer it eventually. Now uh, the the one I love is your dog. I love this I love dog, and yo, know, and and how do you handle like? I, I loved that dog. I had a dog for six weeks in the best summer Britain's ever seen, yeah. and uh, and um, yeah, I, uh, it was so when I when I sort of said goodbye the last day and sort of you know hugging the crew, I hugged the dog, and that's when I nearly cried because I thought <laughs> she doesn't know why she's not going to see me tomorrow, yeah, no. um, so I can't wait to do series two so I can hook up with my my leading lady, the dog again. Um, there is a, there is a series two. It's it's it could well, be on. I, I've started writing it. Oh, yeah, good. 
whether oh, yeah, whether people want it or not. Yeah, but uh, I think but they, I think they will, uh, judging by the weekend. Exactly after this weekend, I think I think that um they're, yeah I I and I I thank people on Twitter and I genuinely mean it. I I I am really blown away by all the tweets and it's I can't even like them no, no, fast no. enough, let alone yeah. to reply to them. But I will get around and it'll slow down soon and I'll and I'll try and catch up. But well, they're quite but, emotional tweets. There's one tweet. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're, beautiful. They're, they're really really beautiful. Um, you know, a lot of it is oh my god, I'm um I'm crying and laughing. Yeah. They're laughing and then crying. And yeah, one guy tweeted me a picture of his wife's grave with his dog there. And I said, and I welled up and I said, your tweet made me cry. And I, I, I'm choked up. I think, I think it's lovely to make a connect, to do fiction, to make that connection with strangers. And, uh, and that's the good thing about Twitter. You do connect with your fans, obviously only virtually. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I don't let them know where I live. No, no, I hope they don't. I'm starting to worry about that. <laughs> you did film in your neighbourhood, I think, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah, don't yeah. Worry. yeah, yeah. I my locations were based on how close one of my properties were <laughs> to them. You're pretty good at that, aren't you? Yeah. Um, but uh, in life, you know, we've had a few run-ins. Um, you, you've been very good to me. I think I interviewed first time in a... The bird, the bird movie, I call it the cartoon bird movie. Oh, yeah. uh, Valiant! Yeah, my right, first, yeah. my first right, voiceover yeah. in a in an animated yeah. movie. Yeah, you were wearing what? Done. what Ten? You, we're up to about seventeen now. Seven. Really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I knew done. you when you were a young yeah. um, honey monster. Yeah, that's right. Yes. So, yeah, yeah. 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 No, you haven't um, you haven't changed a bit. No, look at me. I'm still sweating. Um, still the head. I've, you know, I've lost a few pounds. I know yeah. you have. Yeah, I know you have. It's a big deal for a big you were, guy. I know. You were a monster. Yeah, and I thought I'd just, uh, I people, can say that now. Yeah, you can say that. I think I said it then. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I've got them all listed. I think a half-eaten bison head. What is a bison to buffalo? What? What is that? <laughs> I don't. I don't even remember my insults to you. Yeah. 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 You're a handsome man, really. You Thank know you. That. Well, you know, got, got a bit of yeah. stuff. But I'm still chubby. Yeah, how do us guys do it? Are you, what are you, you, what, you, who cares? That's right. We're yeah, going to yeah, die yeah. soon. I'm not going to put. I'm yeah. not going to turn down pudding, knowing that I haven't got many years left, am I? Right, eat no. the fucking pudding. Eat, eat, just eat it. Eat yeah. the pudding. Yeah. Well, that's the best bit. Some of the great scenes on the show is you just you just let it hang out. You're in a new stage because there was a stage where you went a bit Hollywood in the late O's. Yeah, it was nothing to do with Hollywood though. I thought I was going to die. And so I I tried to, to to get fit, and then I thought, oh, I'm not going to die. No. I might as well get fat again. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, there That's is lessons for people then. There is, a, there is a, a scene of me in the shower, but all above the waist, all above my nothing head. to worry about. Was there a moment where you might have just said, "Look, no, my pants are on. <laughs> my pants are on." I wouldn't have subjected the crew to it, would I? No, I wouldn't no, have no, said, no. "Shoot above the waist," but I'm going to have nothing on the trousers right. just for the crew going, "Why has he got his knob out? <laughs> if we're not even filming it, why is it?" <laughs> I'll go just for you guys. Right, it's just down. for you guys. <laughs> just walk around like that. Then just walk around the set with it hanging out. Well, you were at the. I mean, you and Kevin Spacey did launch Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was. He was just to bring the tone down, yeah, wasn't yeah, sorry, it? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Um, all right, mate. Final words. Um, will you stop being mean to your beautiful girlfriend Jane about her friends? You know, and not having no friends. She'd think that I'd had a stroke right. if I stopped being right. cruel to her. She'd go, what? Uh, who are you and what have you done with Ricky? Right. I, I the, the meanest thing I do with Jane is tweet her whenever we're going for a lovely walk. I hold back and take a picture of her in the middle of nowhere and say Jane with all her friends. Right. Right. Just, it's one of the best running gags against a girlfriend ever. I never, I never get bored with it. Yeah. I never. It's like throwing a ball to a dog. I never get bored with that. That dog will die of a heart attack before I stop throwing that ball. <laughs> Poor Jane. All right, mate. Well, uh, thank you so much. Your champion. Pleasure. Thanks, mate. Cheers, guys.